Hello Ospreys, welcome to an international news update on Inside Sweep and 90 Inside Edition. I'm Ashlyn Glocky, working remotely from home to give you the inside scoop on the Inside Swoop. Today marks history for the LGBTQ community. The Supreme Court ruled a law that protects gay, lesbian, and transgender people from discrimination in employment. The 6-3 vote decided that the Civil Rights Act of 1964 allowed for bias against LGBT workers. An officer involved in the fatal shooting of Breonna Taylor will be fired. Louisville's mayor, Greg Fisher, announced police chiefs began terminating Officer Brett Hankinson from his position. Taylor was shot eight times by officers who burst into her home during a narcotics investigation. The family of a black man killed by Atlanta police wants the violence to stop. Today, 20 of Rashard Brooks' family members spoke at a news conference calling for changes in the criminal justice system to prevent such deaths. We are strong, we are resilient, and we will get through this together. But these are stressful times, and it's important to practice good self-care. It's normal to feel overwhelmed or anxious, but there is hope. Hi everyone, my name is Ashlyn Glocky, and welcome to Behind the Mouse, the only show at the University of North Florida that keeps you up to date with all the latest news in Disney. So there's been this theory going around that Disney foretold coronavirus going to happen in a Disney princess film. That's right, Tangled. So let's break this down. In the film, Rapunzel was isolated and forced to live inside a tower with no contact with people. But you know what her kingdom's name is? I formally apologize for making your brain explode. Walt Disney World is making precautions to help prevent the spread of COVID-19 in the park. Two Disney locations have been shut down in an effort to stop the coronavirus from spreading. On January 26, Hong Kong Disneyland Park and Resorts closed their doors. The following day, Shanghai Disneyland and Resorts and Disney Town also closed their doors to help contain the virus. So far, Disney Parks locations at Hong Kong, Shanghai, and Tokyo are all closed. The only Disney Parks open are in Paris, California, and right here in Florida. From now on, every episode, I will be visiting a nearby store and rating their Disney products. For all you Jacksonville residents, my first pick was none other than Subculture. All right, first thing, you walk in, they have this gorgeous little mermaid bag. I'm a sucker for anything Disney princesses, because I am one, so moving on. If you want to be like a queen of hearts, I'll see you really easy. Get that going, get some Disney bound going. These would be probably good pants for, again, I also want to wear. Probably like the Mad Hatter. Hey Ospreys, I'm Ashlyn Glocky and this is SpoilerCast. Today we are reviewing Disney and Pixar's Onward. So we never got his chance to say goodbye to his dad. And as soon as I heard the story, I was just, I was in tears. I was crying <laughs> like a baby, but um, I think it's because it kind of brought a bit of realism into, you know, into the movie because that is something that a lot of people deal with, you know, being intimidated and not wanting to say goodbye to their loved ones. As much as I love Sonic because he's iconic and he's, you know, the main character of the movie, Jim Carrey did a phenomenal job in this movie. I mean, he's just an amazing actor in general, but he really took on the role of this character with doing so much research. He said he did actually two weeks um, to get into character for this role. If you watch the movie, if you see the song, you'll just understand it because it's just, it's the funniest thing ever, but it's also such a sweet song because, you know, I guess in past Disney movies, it's about the princess and she's head over heels for the prince. But in this case, Kristoff is completely head over heels for Anna. And it's really cool getting to see a vulnerable side being showcased in the movie from a boy perspective. The cool thing about it is that it looks like it's a one sequence shot when it actually isn't. It was just edited that way. Um, so from a production standpoint, I really just admired it.